Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we're going to talk about how satellites can connect us around the world. This video was made possible by SES Satellites because they are launching their next generation of satellites to expand their fleet in order to create a more connected world. SES is launching a second generation of their O3B M-Power satellites. At its core, O3B M-Power's mission is to help create a truly connected world where everyone, from individuals to organizations to entire populations, can connect to one another from any place at any time and ultimately create or reimagine their story. So how do they do this? Well, let's dive into it and learn a little bit more about orbits and constellations. The O3B M-Power sats are a constellation of satellites that will be in MEO or medium Earth orbit. MEO is an orbit between 2,000 to 35,785 kilometers above the surface of Earth. Yeah, that's a large range. So, any satellites orbiting somewhere in this range are considered in MEO. It's between LEO, or low Earth orbit, where the International Space Station and our astronauts are, and GEO, or geostationary orbit, where satellites at this altitude are always above the same spot on Earth. Hmm. Well, this happens because they are moving at the right speed as Earth rotates. So, they appear to be stationary above Earth. GEO is where a lot of the weather forecasting, satellite radio, and television satellites are. These O3B M-Power satellites will be orbiting in medium Earth orbit, MEO, at about 8,000 kilometers high. This is about one-fourth the distance up to GEO. And there will be 11 of these satellites spread across several launches. This constellation will have an equatorial orbit. That means they will be going around the equator, kind of like an extended belt around the middle of Earth. And what's neat about this is that at 8,000 kilometers high and having 11 of them, there is no gap in coverage at all from 50 degrees north latitude to 50 degrees south latitude. This means for 96% of the global population, they will always have access to this new constellation. Also, at this altitude, each satellite goes around the Earth in six hours. Compared to the International Space Station, which is at about 400 kilometers, it orbits every 90 minutes. The higher you are, the longer it takes you to go around Earth. This is also why the planets farthest from the Sun take the longest to complete a full orbit. Okay, back to satellites. This new constellation of satellites is the future of high throughput, low latency satellite based network services. Well, Kevin, those are some big words. What does this all mean? Well, basically, these satellites are much more capable than any communication satellites we've had so far. They can do more stuff, literally a step up in how much data or how much information we can send around the world in record time. We'll be able to send multiple gigabits per second per service, which is something that was previously unachievable over satellites. So this really helps out a variety of organizations like telecommunication providers, cloud providers, government customers, cruise companies, maritime or seafaring companies, and energy companies, which in turn help us out as individuals. We use services from these types of organizations to connect with others all the time and live our daily lives. O3B Empower is basically preparing us for the world of tomorrow by creating satellite-based information superhighways. And SES is able to do this by leveraging years of successful commercial satellite operation in medium Earth orbits. O3B M-Power is the next evolution of SES's MEO-based solutions, driving advanced technology, increased capacity, and unmatched flexibility to give customers the confidence to implement their network growth and resilient strategies. Okay. Let's break it down super simple. These new satellites may play a key role in making sure that when you turn the light switch on, that light actually shines by working with the energy companies to help them operate. When you use your phone, tablet, or other device 
to connect to a family member or a friend, or to stream your favorite show, these sets just might be the ones passing the information around. We need these capabilities to grow and evolve as a society. Whether it's someone aboard a cruise ship on vacation watching YouTube, or a soldier needing real-time information to carry out a mission, global connectivity makes that possible. Can you think of other things that are possible through the power of connectivity everywhere? Always be curious.